There are five main outcomes we have utilized throughout this course. Through completing our projects and reflecting on these outcomes, I have learned a lot about what these outcomes mean and myself as a writer. This brings me to the outcome of all outcomes, memory. At first, I didn't really understand this outcome and was skeptical of how this outcome could be used. However, I have begun to understand that memory is not just about the ancient Greeks' idea of memorizing a speech and reciting it. Memory is about reflection. Throughout this semester, we have reflected on our projects and discussed the successes and downfalls. We have discussed this by analyzing the outcomes of invention, arrangement, style, delivery, and memory. I think as the semester went on, I understood these outcomes more and more. I began to understand what it meant to arrange a well-written analytical report that was easy to navigate, or how to effectively deliver a proposal to my audience with different multimodal components. I will now be prepared for memos, reports, or other technical documents I will most likely encounter in my future workplace, and I am thankful for memory for doing so. This is your brain. This is your brain trying to access long unused memories. Okay, not really. But the point is, in creating this video, I'm using the memories created in the instruction project, as well as those created before when doing PowerPoint presentations. In creating my instructions, I use memories from past projects to help develop my presentation. For the analytical report, I use memories from my past to help direct me to the information I needed in order to research my topic. I also used research methods I had learned in Project 1 to help find information I needed for Project 2. For my proposal, I used the same memories from my analytical report, as well as those methods created while making my instructions to help me write and research my proposal. In other words, it's a pyramid scheme. Overall, I feel that the repetition created in this class has helped create long-term memories that I can recall later. I don't think we use memory the same way the ancient Greeks did, but I do think we use similar techniques. In modern times, we tend to remember the source rather than the material itself until we have done enough repetition to make it stick. In other words, we remember snippets and sound bites of what we either read or heard, and perhaps the overall topic, but what we don't remember are the rest of the details. But if we remember the source, we can go back and look those up at any time. Throughout this semester, I have used the memory outcome in almost every single thing that I've done. When I first began working on Project 1, I was confused on how to make a multimodal video, and the project took me a long time. I struggled on the little things, like how long should it be, if there should be background music, and if I needed to include a narration along with written instructions. I understood the decisions I made were correct when I wrote the reflection part of the video because it showed me how every aspect I chose came together to make my instructional video effective. Then when I began to create Project 2, I chose to look at the course outcomes before writing so that I could create my project on the outcomes. By doing this, I was able to create a quality report in a fraction of the time that it would have normally taken me. Finally, when I began to work on the final project, Project 3, I did not have to look at the outcomes again because I already had them memorized. I was most efficient on this project because I already knew exactly what was expected. Now, after completing English 219, I feel like I can communicate effectively in a 21st century work environment because of the five outcomes for this course are engraved in my memory. Out of the five learning outcomes, memory is probably the most important. Without it, most classes become nothing more than an exercise in futility and monotony. In each project, we are asked to discuss the five learning outcomes. Contemplating these made us recall difficulties and solutions that arose in the respective projects. This practice garnered a deeper understanding into the learning outcomes and aided in solidifying the topics of this class. Along with emboldening the course's learning outcomes, memory gave me the opportunity to draw from past experiences and apply the old knowledge to new problems. In the first project, I was able to use my experience with Final Cut to produce a very high quality video instruction on how to make a spot show. The second project allowed me the opportunity to apply my research knowledge to the noble cause of solar panels. Lastly, projects, Project 3 required me to take the concepts of the previous two projects and combine them to make an animated PowerPoint presentation.